Hello guys, welcome back to Switch Technologies. So in this video, let's learn so how to write the relative expand. Okay, so all of us know that uh, we are having the two types of the expands. So what are those? So one is absolute expands and one more is relative expands. Okay, so to write this relative expands, we have to remember. Uh, syntax okay and that syntax also we can do right in different models okay so in first model we can write the syntax in this way okay so how we can remember the syntax and what exactly the meaning of this particular syntax is very simple so the name itself relative xpath or we can also call this a customized xpath okay so to make understand to our automation tool so whatever the syntax we written or whatever the uh, locator we are given to identify that particular element in the web page. So first of all, to understand the selenium, this is a relative XPath. So for that, you have to start your syntax with the two forward slashes. Okay. So what this two forward slashes represents? So this will represents to select current node. So what is this current node? So what exactly this current node represents means? So let's uh, uh, moving on to one particular side to know about this uh, current node and something. So for example, let me take one side, for example, Facebook. So in this Facebook, this is a web page actually. So in this, we are having the many elements. So first of all, I would like to inspect this particular element to perform some action. So now I am writing the test scripts, which needs to be performed by the Selenium. The testing needs to be performed by the Selenium. So that's why a very first of what we have to do, we have to inspect this. How we can do inspect means just right click on this element. So you will get the inspect. So now if you do click means you will get this is the way. So actually, this is the DOM. So this DOM structure, that HTML DOM structure. So in this, this is the thing you are getting highlighted in your DOMs. Nothing but this will at the left side that the particular element will be highlighted automatically. Okay. So now which element is highlighting? Email. Input email is highlighting. Okay. So but this needs to be identified by the Selenium. So for that, what you have to do? So we can do identify the element by using the eight locators. We are having the many locators, almost eight locators, just like name is one locator, ID is also locator. Okay, but uh, XPath is having its own importance. So just to write the XPath, just to, if you do click on this particular element, you will get copy. And if you just click on copy XPath or copy pull XPath, you will get what you will get. This control F means this particular thing you will get. Okay, so this particular thing will identify your element in this particular web page. Okay, by this DOM. So now you are getting one of one. So one of one you are getting means Selenium will without any ambiguity that will identify the this particular email element. So this is status with a single forward slash, nothing but this is absolute expert, but this is a in this session we are learning to write the relative expert. That's why what we have to do here is the very first time you have to start writing the relative expert always with the two forward slashes. So whenever you do write the two forward slashes, the Selenium will understand. So I need to directly move on, moving on to a specific node. What is the node? Nothing but. So this is the HTML DOM. So here you are having many things. What the what are those many things? HTML, head, body. So divs, all these divs uh, we can call. These are also called as the tag names. So in this specific uh, div uh, input is the one tag name. So just like this, I need to come. So for that, I need to come to div, um, this particular input. So that's why what I have to do right here is simple tag name. So what you are having is syntax here. To forward slash is tag name. So what is the tag name here? Input is a tag name because it is the complete information status with the input only. So you have to keep here input. Okay. So, but how many inputs you are having in this particular page? In this particular page, you are having six elements. But the selenium should identify the element that is only email. So to identify that particular email, you have to use 
attribute and the value. Okay, so attribute and the value. So to what is attribute and what is value? Nothing but so in this particular HTML page, in this particular HTML page, whenever you inspect this particular email, you are getting like this. So type is one attribute, text is the value of the attribute, class is the attribute. So this particular information is the value of this particular attribute. So name is the attribute, email is the value of the attribute. So attribute is nothing but which is having some key and value, key and value, key and value. So this is nothing but the attribute. So in this, whenever you start receiving the two forward slashes and later you oh, moving on to the tag name. So later, what, wait, whatever you use the attributes, that will definitely give the element. But how we can do use means here you have to use just open bracket and inside of this you have to use a and at the rate so what i what exactly this at, at the rate represent this will represent the attribute so means now this will be uh, this at, uh, at the rate will defines needs to be select the specific attributes now this will be uh, it denotes the needs to be select the specific attributes now it will whenever i use at the rate now the selenium will understand so i need to go to a specific attribute so type is attribute class is attribute name is attribute whatever you can do take it's okay so now i will go with a type just to select and copy and paste here so i end up what is our syntax attribute equal to value so here, here you have to use equal to because i'm giving the exact value for this key so that's why you have to use equal to so and wherever you do use uh, to give the value at that time you should, you should definitely use a single course definitely use a single course sorry so what is the value of this particular type attribute what is the value text is the value just to get it and paste here okay so just observe here what you are getting one of one one of one means specific element now this completely highlighting with yellow color and just focus on your left side so what is highlighting in the ui path so what is highlighting email is highlighting now this you can do happily use as your customized x path customized x path so this is the way you can simply identify if you want to write the script uh, for this particular thing so you can simply use this particular site and you can happily write in your test scripts also so to launch the url in a browser what you have to use driver dot get method you have to use okay so just to get it and paste your url here so and later what you have to do just uh, or uh, driver dot find element by dot x path i have written and just to copy that x path here so what is my x path this is my this is my x path okay just right here okay and what you have to do here you have to pass some keys so what is my email id something just to use it. switch testing this is my email id Okay, gmail.com. Okay, just run your script, control S, and just right click, run as Java application. Okay, so just uh, the text got entered, right? So this has happened because of what? Because of I have used a relative X path. I have used relative X path. Yeah, just I close it manually. So let's understand the second type okay so what is the second model so this is very simple again so just the concept uh, almost the same but here you have to use this instead of the attribute you can also use the text so what is this text again so because here also the same this contains method is nothing but uh, what is the property of the contains method in a string concept okay so whenever we discussed in core java concepts strings methods we discussed so what the contains method will, will give so in that particular element or in that particular uh, uh that particular attribute whatever the value are having 
So the exactly the sequence should be match. Okay. So actually where we have to use this particular syntax means. So here you are having different attributes. Yes or no? So you are having happily some key value, key value, key value are having. Sometimes you may not have the key and the value. At that time, so what you can do have, for example, if you just uh, inspect this forgot password, just inspect. So here you are, you are not having any key. So in this particular thing, in this particular DOM page, in this particular DOM element, you are not having any key. Not having any key and you are not having any value. At that time, how you can do write the XPath? So here you are not having the key and value, but you are having some text here. So this is the text. So by using this text, you can do write the customized XPath now. So how you can do write? So this is the syntax just use there. So let's uh, write. So here also same, you have to start with the two forward slashes and what is the tag name? So here the tag name is A. So A is the tag name. So A, just use this. And later you have to open and close the bracket. And instead of this, you have to use here contains. So because contains method I'm using. What is the method? Uh, it will give the output in that particular string method. So the contains method, it will give that is containing s or no okay so contains i'm saying containing some text so here again you have to use a text function so here you should not use any equal to because i may not give the complete text i may give the complete text so text is my value that's why i have to use it again in a single course okay so here i'm not giving any value but still i'm finding 46 elements so how many texts are available 46 uh, text are available so i need to give here my value sorry so what is my text this is my text just copy this and paste inside of this value now how many elements you are finding one element you are finding how many elements one element you are finding so this is a one more method you can do use to write the customized text path this is also you can just use in your script Okay, just to come here and play paste that. Okay, so instead of send the case here, what you have to do perform, you have to perform click. Okay, you have to perform click action. So now it has to be negative, the page has to be navigated to forgot password page. Okay, just run it. Okay, so the page got navigated to forgot password. Okay, this is the way also you can do write the customized text path. So one more model. So the sec the third model is again related to this only. The difference of uh, the second model and the third model is, if you observe, looks almost the same, but only the difference here. Select current node almost the same. So later text you are getting, value you are getting. So compare the text value. So if you use here in previous uh, example, here you have used the contains method. So and here you didn't use any equal to. Here you didn't use any equal operator. Why you didn't use? Because here you may use the complete text, may not use a, the complete text I told you, right? But here in third model, you no need to use the contains method, but you have to use the equal. That is only the difference. Okay. You should not use contain. You are not interested to use the contains means. So definitely you have to use the equal to. That is only the difference. Okay. Just again come to the DOM. So here what I can do. Instead of comma, I will use equal to and I will remove this contains just to here also remove this block bracket that's it. okay so again you are getting one of five this is also the way you can just do right to work customized x path okay so just to copy this and you can also use in your script no issue just paste here and again run your script this this time also you will happily navigate into forgotten password page okay so now we are available in forgotten form okay so this is the way you can just write the 
customized xpaths so what are the different model methods we discussed three methods okay so just to focus on the syntaxes and uh, this is only the way we can simply write the customized xpaths so thank you guys we will meet again in next session with a new topic thank you everyone.